So at the top, just write key ideas like this. And these are like the theorems or the concepts that we need throughout the lesson. So the first one is corresponding lengths in similar polygons are proportional. Corresponding lengths in similar polygons are proportional. Then the second key idea, idea is perimeters of similar polygons are proportional as well. So I'm going to zoom out just so I can write. <laughs> perimeters of silly perimeters of similar polygons. Proportional to side lengths. And we'll apply that in problems so we can look at what that means. And then another thing is just review. So like also note, we're going to be looking at scale factor. Scale factor is a factor in which the shape is enlarged by, um, and we'll look at that, but specifically we have to remember that for scale factor, it's the new shape over the original. Okay, so using those key ideas, let's look at the first problem. It says, find the scale factor, then list all the congruent angles, and write the ratios of corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality. Um, so first of all, we're actually going to look at corresponding angles here. Something that's new is this little symbol, symbol right here, that squiggly line, like just one swig, squiggle, means similar to. Similar to. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle LMN. And just like with a congruent statement, um, everything corresponds here. So angle A actually equals angle L. Angle B equals angle M, the middle angle here. And then angle C equals angle N. And in similar shapes, all the angles are equal. So maybe make that a note. In similar polygons, all angles are equal. I could make that more wordy, but it means like in this shape, in this shape, the angles would be the exact same. It's the side lengths that are different. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the proportionality and try to find the scale factor. Um, in order to look at proportionality, we have to make sure that we're looking at the right parts and every side has a corresponding side that's like its match. So this one, this side corresponds to this. And this is where we're using the colors. This one corresponds to this one. And then this side corresponds with this one. Okay, and we can see this arrow, it's going from this one to this one, so that means this is the new, and then this is the original. So when we're setting up for the proportion, we're going to do new over original, and make sure that we're doing corresponding with corresponding. So I'll start here, I'm going to do 6 over 4.5 equals 9 
over 6.75 and then 8 over 6. Okay, so if those all divide out to the same decimal, then um, it is similar. But it's actually asking for a scale factor, so what I would do is just take one of these fractions and simplify it. 8 divided by 2 would be 4, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, I get 4 thirds, so k equals 4 thirds, that's the scale factor. So I just took one of these guys that simplified it. Um, you could also say k equals 1.3 repeating, that would be cool too. Um, and then what the scale factor represents is it's what you would multiply these dimensions by to get to the second shape. So if you took 6 and multiplied it by 4 thirds or 6 and multiplied it by 1.33, you'd get the side length of the new shape. Okay. Next. Nobody's yelling at me. That's good. Okay. Next shape. Um, this one, we're going to go through the same process. The difference is here that this shape is in a little bit of a different orientation than this one. See how they like, like turned it almost, like or 180 turn. Um, we have to make sure that all the corresponding sides match up when we're doing our proportions. So using your colors, just match stuff. So this goes with this. Looks like this one goes with this one. Now that we identified our matches, we can set up our proportion. Remember, new over original, so this is our new. This is our original. So I might do blue first. Three over nine equals one over three, four over 12, and two over six. Okay, all of these simplify to one third. Um, definitely all proportional. These are similar. The scale factor, if I was to take one of these and simplify it, or just take the one in simplest form, is one third. And yeah, that's the scale factor. So if I was to take any one of these side lengths, I can multiply it by one third and get the dimensions of the new shape. So why is it a K? Does that just stand for like scale factor? I don't know who made it a K. It probably has to do with another language of some type. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next type of problem. Okay, the polygons are similar. Find the value of x. Okay, for these proportions to work, we have to make sure we're working with corresponding sides. Um, so you might want to do some matching. This side corresponds with this one. And this side corresponds with this one. I could label the third one as matching, but in terms of like solving the proportion, I only need like two. Okay, so instead of setting up the proportion, I could do the green to the pink, like x over 18 and 20 over 12. That would work just fine. Or I could do green to green and pink to pink. As long as you're consistent, you could do it either way. But I'm going to just do like the first one to the second one. X over 20 equals 18 over 12 to solve for X. Okay, then use cross multiplication. 12x equals 360, and x equals 30. 
so that means this equals 30. Okay, number four, same type of problem, but the orientation of the triangles are the same. So before we do anything, we have to make sure that we know what our corresponding sides are. This one right here, you can look at these angles. It says it shows two and three marks. So this would correspond with that. And it doesn't matter which ones you choose. x over 18 equals 16 over 24. Okay, thank you. Next. Do we get it? Should we move on to the next type of problem? Is this easy? Okay, we move on. Okay, so we're not going to do five or six, same idea. Then down for seven and eight, we'll do one of these. It says identify the type of segment shown by the dashed line and value of the variable. So just like with the side lengths, the dimensions of the triangle will be proportional. So here it shows an altitude of each triangle. It wanted us to identify what that is. It's an altitude or the height of the triangle. And this would correspond with this height over here. So 16 over X equals 18 over 27. And cross multiply. That's 16 times 27, 432. And then X equals 24. Okay, now we're going to move to the back and do a problem on the back. One of the key points is that perimeter is also proportional, same proportion as side length. Um, we're going to skip those top two and just go to number 11. Okay, so two polygons are similar, the perimeter of one polygon and the ratio of the corresponding side lengths are given, find the perimeter of the other polygon. Okay, it says the perimeter of the smaller polygon is 48 centimeters and it's a ratio of two to three. So I'm gonna write this ratio down, two to three. Um, the smaller one would be the two and the larger one would be the three. So I'll put 48 with the two and then we're solving for the larger. And then we solve using cross multiplication. Three times 48. Thank you. Divide by two. 72, thank you. So it's 72. And then we're gonna do one more on the next page. Okay. Flipping over to page 675, one of these area ones. Okay, here it says the polygons are similar. The area of one polygon is given. Find the area of the other polygon. This is another key concept that I didn't have you write down yet. Um, key idea. I'm trying to think of how to best write this. 
Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to show you. Then we will write it. Okay, so here's the side length. This corresponds with this. So we could say, okay, 3 over 6. It's 3 squared over 6 squared equals 27 over x. So side length squared equals area. Anybody have a better way to say that? Let me see how the book says it. So side length squared equals area over area. OK. So then we would just square this. 9 over 36 equals 27 over x. And then cross multiply. 36 times 27, IDK. 36 times 27. 972 divided by 9 is 108. x equals 108. Okay, that is all. Um, you can get a laptop, start your homework. When you finish your homework, get your Khan Academy done, then you can chill.